In today's uncertain world, having a safety net for unexpected financial challenges is more crucial than ever. In an article provided by LendingTree, most Americans have faced a financial emergency at least once. However, nearly half of US adults, 49%, admitted that they were not able to cover a $1,000 emergency using their current cash or banking accounts. Today, we're gonna be diving into one of the most fundamental pillars of financial success, the emergency fund. Before we begin, I've always wanted to make higher quality YouTube videos full time so it would mean a lot to me if you guys like, comment, and share this video with your friends and family if you ever found it useful or entertaining. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for all your support, let's get back to the video. So why should you have an emergency fund? Well, think of it as your financial lifeline, ready to catch you whenever your life throws unexpected curveballs your way. From unexpected medical expenses to sudden job loss or even major car or home repairs, emergency Emergencies are unplanned and can strike at any moment, leaving you financially vulnerable if you're not prepared. This is where your emergency fund comes in. By setting aside money specifically for emergencies, you are taking proactive steps to safeguard your financial stability. Your future self will thank you for preventing any setbacks. As for how much you should save, the consensus believes that you should save approximately 3-6 to six months of your monthly expenses. However, growing up, I've always had a scarcity mindset. So I've saved up almost one year of expenses for my emergency fund, just so I feel a little bit safer. I understand that not all of us can easily save due to monthly bills or obligations, but the important thing is just to start. I found that the easiest way to save though is to split my paycheck immediately as soon as I got it from work. I would automatically budget my paycheck into savings and investing so I don't spend it later down the line and worry about living paycheck to paycheck. Furthermore, you kind of cheat the discipline process by automatically putting the money away, that way you don't have anything to spend. So as long as you can get over that first hurdle of putting your money away into a safer and better place for your future, you're going to be good. And moreover, like I said, about 20% of your weekly or monthly paycheck is a great start to your savings. I promise the peace of mind that you'll get going through life's challenges will just make it all the more bearable. An emergency fund just ensures that even though you didn't plan for life's mistakes or expenses that you'll be covered. Now if you're asking yourself where's the best place to put your emergency fund or savings, well the best answer to that is probably a separate savings account or a high yield savings account. That way you don't feel inclined to spend any commingled funds with your checking account. There's a ton of videos online teaching you about high yield savings account but there's several that I can name including Ally, Discover, American Express, and the one I personally use which is Apple Savings. I will say though the only downside is that you actually have to have the Apple card but I've enjoyed it the entire time so I don't mind at all applying for the card and it's just a win-win for me as I also get cash back which goes automatically to my savings. I also love the simplistic user interfaces that Apple has developed over the years so it's just really super convenient for me as it's straight through the phone. If you want to learn more about the Apple card or Apple savings just go watch one of my recent shorts or watch one of my recent budgeting videos as you can see me walk through the whole process of putting money into my savings account. The main idea of putting your emergency fund in a separate place though is just to ensure that it remains untouched until absolutely necessary. That way you can have easy access to it rather than worry about it being locked up or tied up with several days transfer. Generally, having an emergency fund allows you to face life's unexpected obstacles without relying on high interest credit cards or loans, which can quickly spiral into debt and financial strain. By having an emergency fund, you can weather financial storms without sacrificing your mental or financial well-being. Once you have that emergency fund established though, it'll open doors to other financial opportunities such as starting that new business venture or being able to continue to save and invest without any worries. It is truly a crucial component of building that financial foundation. So whether you just started your financial journey or are looking towards reinforcing that existing safety net, prioritizing and maintaining that emergency fund is a vital step towards achieving financial freedom as well as a peace of mind. Remember, it's not about when emergencies will happen, but when. And when they do, an emergency fund can mean all the difference. I found that the easiest way to save though is to split my cha- Che.